Okay, so now that we're looking at the back office of uh, our WordPress site, we want to, to discuss now how to blog. So obviously, if I'm going to blog, I'm going to go to Posts, and I'm going to cl create click on Add New. And in this case, we've already written the post. What do you write about? We're going to go over that in a minute, about how to find the keywords that people are searching for and drive traffic to your site. But let's say that we've already done that and uh, we've written the article. What we're going to discuss right now is on-page optimization. So on, you might want to get a piece of paper and write this down. So the first thing that you want to do in on-page optimization is you want to take your keyword that you're writing for and stick it in an H1 tag. So just like that, H1, alkaline water benefits, and then close the H1 tag. Looks just like that. The next step is that your alkaline, your, your keyword, in this case alkaline water benefits, has to appear in the first paragraph of your, your article. Your keyword should appear oh, about eight, nine, ten times throughout the course of your article. And in order for it to be readable by Google so they know what keyword you're targeting, sometimes you want to put it in bold. Sometimes you want to put it in quotes. Sometimes you want to put it in italics. Sometimes you want to make a link out of it and link to another article on your site or link to a product page if you have a product page. You also want to put a picture in there. And this picture should have as the alternative text alkaline water benefits, which is your keyword. Also, you want to use what they call H2 tags. So in my H2 tags, you know what, I'm seeing that they didn't do that in this article, but what you're supposed to do is, this is an H2 tag right here, so if I go under text and I see the H2 tag, I should actually have alkaline water benefits in this H2 tag. And then throughout the course of the article, if I'm transitioned to another segment of it, I should enter in a H3 tag that also has alkaline water benefits worked into it. So the point is in your H1, which your header tags, your H1, your H2, and your H3 tags, you should work in alkaline water benefits into those headers so that Google knows, again, which keyword you're trying to target. This will really help you with your ranking. It's good to have a YouTube uh, video on your site. I'm using Camtasia right now for the Mac. It's also for the PC. It's recording my voice and showing what I'm doing on uh, the computer. It's really simple to do. So if you've got yourself a YouTube account, just go to youtube.com and sign up for an account, set up your channel. You can start making simple videos on the subject matter of the article that you wrote and posting them to those videos to your post. And what that does is you're, you're linking to what they call an authority website when you do this. YouTube is an authority website. It's the highest, one of the highest ranking websites in all the internet. So when you link to YouTube, you're showing Google that you're something, that you're, you're something to, to, for them to pay attention to. And then on the other side, when you make these videos, you know, the videos on YouTube, people search for on YouTube just, with it, just like they w would on Google. So if they search alkaline water benefits on YouTube and your video comes up and they watch it and it links to this article or it links back to your site, then, you know, they're going to, you're going to get some traffic that way too. So it's a really good thing to do. You can use Camtasia. You can use some of these uh, article to video programs where you plug in your, your article text and it turns it into a video for you. Just search on Google for that. The article to video robot is one of the most popular ones for that. So, you know, you don't have to do the YouTube videos, but as you get going and, uh, you know, you get become an expert at making your articles and finding your keywords and targeting everything, I recommend doing it just because it, it's, it's traffic just waiting to be gathered by you for your site and it's gonna make money for you. Now the last thing you want to do with the uh, the on-page optimization is you want to put your keyword in a link on the last paragraph. 
and that link should link back to an action page where you want some, you know, the person that's on your page to take action. So this alkaline water benefit link will go to our product page. And if someone clicks on it, you know, they'll see the Revelation 2 or the Genesis Platinum 9. And uh, hopefully they'll buy it because they're so excited by what they just read. That's the idea. So that's on-page optimization in a nutshell. Next, we're going to talk about off-page optimization.